Today we're going to do something really, really easy. And if you don't understand this, that's okay. Um, you just won't be hireable. But that's all right, okay? You might have a mental defect, but that's okay. It's going to be all right, okay? So we're going to learn how to add and subtract complex numbers. But actually, it's going to be quite easy. So we have negative 8 minus, and open parentheses, 6 plus 3i. Some of my students are like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you said that. Don't worry, nobody watches these things anyways. So we're going to take this negative, we're going to distribute it to both numbers. All right, so here we got a negative 8 minus a 6 minus a 30i. But now we just combine like terms, and that's negative 14 minus 30 all right, now it's got to be in this form. And if you're like, what is that form? This is your complex number form, people. And this guy represents your real number. So all real numbers in the front. And this represents your called your pure imaginary numbers. So all imaginary numbers go in the back. All right. So right now, all real numbers in front, all pure imaginary numbers in the back. We have it in that form. And that is an acceptable form to type it in. I know you guys are excited because you'll be able to get easy hundreds in the grade book. Negative 14 minus 30i. It would be funny if I got it wrong, but I didn't. Okay, let's do another one. This one's going to be actually easy. All right, one of my students is like, I'm waiting for the day that you get something wrong. Don't worry, just if you see me it when I go home, my wife tells me I'm wrong all the time. Oh, she is not. She's like, she's going to watch a math video. All right. All right. So we have 88 minus 12i. I'm just going to put a plus. Now, here's the, here's the good news. Whenever you guys see a plus and you see like parentheses, just forget about it, man. Forget about it. All right. Nothing's going to change inside the parentheses. So just add your like terms. Take that guy, add it to that guy. Take this guy, add it to this guy, all right? So all we're doing is just taking 88, taking away 71. What's that going to leave you with? 17. So we got 17, all right? 2 minus 12 is negative 10i. Now, if you get nervous, you're like, I just don't know about that. You can always use a calculator, all right? Negative 71 plus, what was it, 88? All right, all right, if you use a calculator, just make sure you put your real numbers up front and your imaginary numbers in the back. All right, where am I? All right, here we go. So we got 17, and then it was minus 10i. Okay. All right, we'll do one more. Okay, one more, since this is a subtraction one, then. The adding ones are super easy. The subtraction ones, you got to do a little bit more work. Minus negative 82 plus 2i. Man, I tell you what, if I could just get students to know when there's like a negative sign outside of a parentheses and that's when you distribute it in, oh my gosh, my life would be so much easier. So a negative times a negative makes it a positive and a negative times a positive makes that a negative all right just makes it the opposite of whatever it is so i've got 8 plus 82 that's a total of 90 and i've got negative 1i and i got two more negative i's so that makes a total of negative 3i and voila i'm done 90 minus 3i i gotta pause the video student needs help see i made me type this in real quick make sure that we all understand that it's got to be in this form right here. Real numbers up front, imaginary numbers in the back. 90 minus 3i. I believe that's what I had. Yep, 90 minus 3i. Bingo, bingo. All right, now we're going to go to multiply complex numbers basic. All right, multiply complex numbers basic. I'm going to tell you guys, this is going to be basic, like super basic. All right, so here we go. 
we've got 3i, and we're multiplying that sucker to a 15 plus a 2i. There we go, 3 times 15, that's 45i. 3i times 2i is a positive 6i squared, but wait! When I say I squared, my class says, that's right, they said negative one because they remember. That's awesome. All right, so I squared is a negative one. So instead of a six I squared, I'm going to do six times a negative one, which becomes a negative six. Now, if I wanted to get it wrong, this is how I would type it in. But I want to get it right. So I'm going to put the real numbers up front in the imaginary in the back. I'm Batman. All right. Sorry. Couldn't resist. All right. So we got negative 6 plus 45i. That's what I'm typing in because I want to get it right. Negative 6 plus. Oh, wait. Did I say plus? Hold on. Let me look. Whew, plus 45i. Plus 45i. Nailed it. All right. Let's do one more. Now I'll move on to the, the, the harder one, okay? It's really not that hard. Okay, so here we go. I'm not going to rewrite this. I'm just going to go and distribute right now. I think you should be able to see this on the screen. That says negative 6i times 6. That is totally negative 36i. And a negative times a negative makes it a positive, but I've got 12i squared. But wait, i squared is negative 1. So it's not just a positive 12i squared. It's actually 12 times negative 1, which becomes a negative 12. But I want to get it right. So I got to put the real numbers up front and the imaginary numbers in the back. It's almost like I'm doing the exact same process over and over again, just with different numbers. That's correct. That's, that's what I'm doing. Same process, just different numbers. Negative 12 minus 36i. And that's all I'm going to type in. Negative 12 minus 36i, if I want to get it right. Nailed it. All right, now, now we get to do a more complex one, okay? We get to multiply. Now, I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way, because I'm old and I'm fashioned. Well, no, not really fashioned, just old. Negative 2 minus 3i times a negative 5 minus a 2i, like that. So the old way is the FOIL method. We do the FOIL method first. So negative times a negative is a positive. Outside, negative times a negative is a positive. That's 4i. Inside, negative times a negative is a positive. So that's plus 15i. And then a negative times a negative. So at first outside, inside, last, right here, here's the last, so it becomes a positive 6i squared, but you know i squared is a negative 1, so that's 6 times negative 1, so we got 10 plus 19 i's minus 6, 10 minus 6 is 4. So this is the old method where you use the FOIL method. Just remember, this is the first these are the outer products, these are the inner products, and this is the last product. So you've probably seen this before in your life, the FOIL method. So there's the first outside, inside, last. But if you want a new method, okay, a new method to do the same stuff, all right, do this, watch. It's kind of cool. Make a box. Well, not a box, make a square. Then students who aren't, don't like the FOIL method, that's okay. There's another way you can do the exact same problem that makes it super easy. So we have what? Negative 2 minus 3i. So I'm just going to put, ready? Negative 2 minus 3i. Then I'm going to take negative 5 minus 2i. Put right here. Negative 5 minus 2i. Then we just focus on our products and put the products right here in the box. So a negative times a negative is a positive. Negative times negative is a positive. Negative times negative is a positive. And yes, this becomes a 6i squared, but that's the same as saying 6 times negative 1, which becomes a 
negative 6. And then you just take your terms and you add them together. So the i's go together and the real numbers go together. You still get the same answer. 10 minus 6 is 4. 15 plus 4 is 19 i. So you still get the same answer whether you use the FOIL method or the, the box method or the array method. Okay? 4 plus 19 i. 4 plus 19i. Okay? So I'm just going to do one more problem, okay? And that's it. All right, so this is the last problem that I'm going to do on the video, okay? I'm actually not going to do the FOIL method because I found my students to be more accurate if they do it this way than the FOIL method. Now, if you're a FOIL method person, that's fine. Just do the FOIL method and you should be able to get it right. But don't complain to me if you do the FOIL method and you get it wrong because you could do it this way. So I don't want any whiners or complainers. Don't complain. Just work harder. Just like Dr. Randy Posh said back in the day. If you don't know who that is, you should look it up. Dr. Randy Posh. All right. Now, we have negative 5, negative 3i. All right. So here we go. A negative times a negative is a positive. So I'm going to put 20 then this is going to become 20i, that's going to become 12i, and then that's going to become 12i squared, but i squared is a negative 1, so that becomes negative 12. So now all I'm going to do is just highlight my like terms. Got a 20 minus 12, and I got a 12i and a 20i. So in my little box right here, this little space, 20 minus 12 is 8. And 20 plus 12 is 32 i. And voila, i am done. 8 plus 32 i, because it's an a plus b i form. And after this, I'm going to eat my snack, because I deserve it. 8 plus 32 I. Unless I get it wrong. But I didn't. Alright? And that's how you multiply and add and subtract and all that good stuff. Have a good day.